What's up guys, it's Brandon and Cecia and we're back with another video. It's good to see all your smiling faces here with us again. Me and Brandon asked you guys on Instagram to make assumptions about our marriage or about us. Some were pretty spot on, but others were a little bit off. So let's jump right into the assumptions. Number one, I'm pretty sure this was directed at me because the person that sent this to Cecia has known her her whole life. I'm not gonna say any names, but definitely shots fired. I always thought you were stuck up. Ouch. Where'd all that shade come from? Okay. Uh, how do I even tackle that? It hurts a little bit. I mean, I'd like to think that I'm not stuck up. I'm sorry if I've ever come across as stuck up. I might have a resting bee face sometimes, but I promise I'm not stuck up. Our next assumption. Y'all need at least three cups of coffee to function. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, <laughs> three at night. Nah, just kidding. You take it. Um. For me, I think I can function with two, but three, it's like, okay, if I wanna be like super hyper this day, let's do it with three. So I've done it before and it's awesome. So every day I always have my one cup on the way to work and sometimes when I'm really dragging, I'll make another cup like around 8.15. If I feel like an old person and I'm going to sleep kind of early or I'm feeling sleepy kind of early, I'll make another cup at night. So for the most part, two cups of coffee per day for me. What about you? At least two. How many cups of coffee do you guys need to function a day? Let us know in the comments. Number three, you guys do well in school, parentheses, as college students. <sighs> well, I took a little break of like three and a half years from college, but I think it was pretty smooth sailing my first semester back. I was pretty happy with my grades. I got one A and one B. I'm shooting for straight A's this semester, so We'll see how that goes. I think I have all right discipline on getting my work done on time. It's a whole different beast taking online classes because it really comes down to you. I mean, yeah, you have a professor, but you don't see the professor and you don't feel that obligation of that responsibility of them seeing you in every class. So it does take a lot more discipline, in my opinion, to do online classes. Our next assumption, numero cuatro. I assume Brandon is the messy one in the house. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's not messy at all. He's helped me out a lot in the cleaning stuff. Once in a while, I'll like take off my coat or jacket yeah. or something and I'll leave it. Everywhere, but that's okay. And then I'll do it again with another one. In my head, I'm telling myself, <laughs> okay, you're just gonna put it back on. It's still cold outside. It's not like it's gonna be 100 degrees. In my mind, I'm like, I'm just gonna put it down here because I'm gonna pick it up again in a minute and go outside. But I do that with like 20 different sweaters and yeah, they end up all does. over the place. He has a lot of sweaters, more than me. Next one. I assume that y'all wouldn't want to move out of Dallas. <sighs> Correct. <laughs> I grew up in the RGV, shout out to all my Valley peeps. So I grew up there 22 years of my life, had a short stint in Pueblo, Colorado for six months. I always had plans to move here to Dallas. We would visit a lot growing up and I've always loved Dallas. There was just something about it. And I had plans in the future to move here. Then I met her and that kind of just like sped up the process. Uh, like I said, I was in Colorado and for me, this is, this is home. My family's here, her family's here. My wife is here, my son, oh Mr. My Bean is here. Right, Mr. Bean? Come here. Say hi to everybody. This is my son. <laughs> so yeah, this is home for me and I really don't see why I would have to move. I really love working for Dallas ISD. I see a really awesome future here. Before I met Brandon, I wanted to leave out of Dallas. I wanted to move to New York City. I didn't grow in Dallas. I grew up in a small suburb called Irving and I wanted to leave that place and get out of there. But then I met Brandon and he stayed here. But no, um, in all seriousness, he actually showed me to love the city because I just knew Irving. I didn't know anything about Dallas and with him, him and I, we've done like adventures with both the, the whole Metroplex. So yeah, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> Next assumption. I bet y'all can go a day without coffee. You are correct. If I don't have coffee, I will have a headache. No matter what time. If I don't have coffee, 
that we leave at 6.30. If I don't have my coffee, like around 6.45, 6.57, I feel bad for her sometimes when I don't have my coffee and I'm not drinking it on the way. I'm so grumpy. <laughs> and then I get to school and I see kids and I'm like, buenos dias, and they see the nice side of me before she does. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even when we've run out of coffee and we forget to go to the grocery store or stop on the way home, whatever, we forget to get coffee. I will be at the coffee shop across the street at six in the morning. Yeah. I've literally been their first customer sometimes to get coffee. We gotta have that coffee yeah every day next assumption i assume that y'all had no clue of each other before you met like me and levy that's what this person said some of you guys mutual friends might know who this one was is and i actually remember when you and levy first got together when levy told us your plans we were at whataburger in la feria good times it feels like it was just yesterday Anyways, it's funny. We've been surrounded by each other, kind of. I don't know, it's hard to explain. And I don't want to go too much into detail because we're actually gonna make another video sometime soon about how we met, our love story. So, without going into detail, basically, I didn't know anything about her before we met, but she kind of knew stuff about me. She had a crush on me. <laughs> I did. It's kind of lame, but... <laughs> I love her for it. <laughs> the next assumption. I bet you don't like Game of Thrones so much like Brandon obviously does. <sighs> Honest answer, I don't like Game of Thrones and I think it's hard in our marriage. <laughs> my brother, my sister, his whole family, like his siblings, they've all told me to watch Game of Thrones and I can't. Like, I think it was Saturday night. No, Sunday night. Well, Sunday night, <laughs> I had HBO and I was like, let me try, let me try one episode of Game of Thrones. Four minutes, I turn it off. I turned it off. So. Last season of Game of Thrones, bittersweet. <laughs> Next assumption. I assume that you both are going to make or have already made an impact on someone's life. I feel that with the jobs that we're that we currently have and the career path that we're going on right now to become teachers, educators, I think there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for us to hopefully make a positive impact on people, on especially students. Mm -hmm. When we were working as substitutes, I spent a lot of time in West Dallas and that's a really troubled area of Dallas. And even though I got insulted basically every day, every day, I still loved what I was doing at that time because I could still see a change. There was this one little boy, he didn't know how to react when I would actually take the time and listen to him and try to help him because he misbehaved so bad, teachers would usually send him away. He kind of approached to hug me, but he didn't know how to hug, I guess. And he turned what would have been something nice into just like starting to squeeze me and he put his hand like he was gonna choke me and I had to calm him down because he just didn't know how to react to that. And slowly, I still saw enough difference in him that I know by now, hopefully, I made some sort of an impact on him to change the route that he was going on. Same thing with another little boy in that same school. I spent a lot more time with him. First day that I was with him, he took off on me, ran down the hallways at school, ran away from me. It was hard to get him back. Three months later, last day of school, he's sitting across from me and it's only half a day and he's looking at me. He looks concerned and he asks me, Mr. B, have you eaten lunch yet? And I said, no, I haven't. And he's like, well, why not? And I said, well, cause it's a shorter day. So I'll just take my lunch once we dismiss the kids and everybody goes home. On my way home, I'll get something to eat. I knew that that answer didn't satisfy him because he stayed with that concerned look on his face. Mind you, he had autism. It was hard to communicate with him sometimes. He would react by biting, he would react by punching. So when I saw that concerned look on his, concerned look on his face, I was a little weary at first and he was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he got his sandwich, ripped it in two pieces and gave me half. And for me, all those months of I, would, I don't want to say putting up with, but having to deal with his behavior, it was all worth it. Seeing that gesture that I could tell was from the bottom of his heart and that I think he made more of an impact on me than I did on him, honestly. Becoming educators, I think it's going to be a, a good mutualistic relationship between us and the students and even the faculty. That was a really long answer. Sorry, guys. <sighs> did he fart? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
I think Mr. Bean needs to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E. I don't want to say it because he knows that word and he'll get all excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Time out. <sighs> go over there, Bean. Go. Oh, he looks so sad. Are you still drinking coffee after that? I'm drinking coffee so I'll smell the coffee and I just fart. Our next assumption. You guys never have an argument. Well, like normal relationships and marriages, no marriage is perfect. We do have like our little arguments, but it's never like, ah, like crazy and stuff. Um, we're just watching a video of a couple like talking about arguments too and how they cool off and how the girl she's the first one to come all she does to him and she's like i'm sorry and like we're talking how that's me that mm -hmm. i just come to him like we go separate rooms and then i just come to him and i was more like the guy <laughs> that answered and he's the what did you say like the quiet type yeah so when they'd get into arguments he would just stay quiet go be by himself, just like kind of me time. And I feel the same way because I don't want to end up saying something that I'm just saying because I have like angry feelings and not something that I actually mean. So I'd rather just like cool down. But I also make it up to her. Even though she apologizes first, I buy her chocolate and yeah. medicine. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh... She's always sick, guys. <laughs> Penultimate assumption. I assume y'all drink a lot of coffee. No. Not at all. We're not coffee addicts. I think you guys know we like coffee. That's the third, fourth assumption about coffee. Our last assumption. I assume that y'all want 10 kids. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said. That y'all want 10 kids, LOL. Uh, you are the bearer of children. Uh, I don't even want one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't listen to her being. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's all what God wants for us. If God wants us to have 10 kids, then 10 kids it is. But if he just wants us to have one or two, then like it's all his plan and we're fine with whatever God gives us. And I mean, if he wants to give us 11 so I can have my own football team no. and be the next best dynasty after Tom Brady and the Patriots. <laughs> well, I'm just saying God uh, in a good word. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so those are 12 assumptions that you guys gave to us but now we want to know has anyone ever assumed something about you and they were totally off and maybe it even caused problems or issues for you let us know down below in the comments if you like this video please make sure and give it a thumbs up yeah. and if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell if you want a special shout out in our next video, be sure to share this video and tag us so we can give you a shout out in our next video. Yep, that's the end of this video. We'll see you guys later, but for now, God bless and have a good one.